Welcome back, Mumphy Mafia. Hope you are all doing well. Today, we are on the back end of the Tacoma for today's install. And it's going to have something to do with some lighting simply because I have eliminated my third brake light simply because I've got my bed rack and my rooftop tent from 230 kind of covering it. So, today I'm going to be adding third brake light to the back of the Tacoma. So let's jump into this install. So as I open the tailgate, you will see that I have the Diode Dynamics hitch mount. LED, this is something that's pretty cool. Glad that uh, it is solving a problem that some of us are having if you put a bed rack and rooftop tent on your Tacoma. Now, I do still have my third brake light, it's right there. But because of all this, it kind of covers it all up. So this is going to be solving that little issue by placing it in the hitch. Let's go ahead and open up the box. What we have here, nice little packaging. You can see there's the light wrapped in plastic. Go ahead and take this cover off this insert there we have the actual hitch light it's got a little bit of heft to it and then we also have our install kit all in plastic i'll go ahead and break this all out and show you everything now that we have everything out of the box here is what comes in your kit you will get the seven pin connector with the wiring harness that leads to the LED, you'll get a couple of zip ties. You'll get your instructions. And then this one also came with an added twist tie. Not sure if I'm gonna be using that, but this is everything that comes in your hitch mount box. Now this particular one is pretty cool. It does have a safety strobe fourth brake light mode, which is actually this module here. And I'll show you that a little bit later. So let's go ahead and get started on prep before we install all this. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and remove the trailer hitch. I've already pulled my pin. So all I need to do is just remove my rear trailer hitch and set that aside. I'm gonna go ahead and just dry out the inside. It has been kind of a wet season. So I do have a little bit of muck and grime that I'm gonna clear up out of this before I install the LED. All right, so here we are under the Tacoma. Here's our seven pin. This is right next to our hitch. Here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach up top and you'll find a flat little piece up here and towards the gray end, there'll be a little tab. You're gonna to wanna to press down on that and just pull back. Now I did go ahead and loosen this. What I'm gonna show you, is right here so this is the top and then this little tab right here is what you're going to press and that will release the hitch or at least the seven pin connector and just push that down wiggle it back and that will come off now we're ready to attach our wire harness this little t connection here we're going to plug one end into here we're going to plug the other end back into here, and then we're going to run the light cord back through here and connect it to the LED that sits here. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, I've gone ahead and hooked everything up. You're going to take the long end and you're going to plug that back into this section that we took off, and then the shorter end seven pin connector is going to go back into the receiver that sticks out on the other side there is a direction that this goes on you'll have a small flat end that you need to place and reattach up up at the top so this little uh, tab here is going to be on the bottom i've gone ahead and i've ran my wire back through and it's sticking out the bottom here so that's ready to go now i'm just going to go ahead and zip tie this back up so it's out of the way 
and then zip tie this here so that way I don't have anything dangling and interfering with my spare tire. So here you go, I zip tied my wire there and then I zip tied my wire here as well. <laughs> now ready to plug the LED into the trailer hitch. Now we're down to the last step. We're just going to take the trailer hitch LED light. We are going to plug it in. Make sure that your tab faces the right direction here. We're going to plug that in. It's going to be a little tight. You want to hear that little snap. And now we're ready to basically put this right back in there. And it should snap right into place. We'll have a little bit of play, but it is installed. Now, let's test for function. All right, now that I have the light installed, it should act like a third brake light. Go ahead and press. Yeah, we got a little bit of a flash there. Go ahead and do it again. Okay. Now, what this, what this particular light is supposed to do is it's supposed to blink rapidly when you press the brake. But right now, what seems to be happening is, go ahead and press. Okay, we did get a flash there. Go ahead and let go. Press it again. And we just got solid. So I'm just kind of curious if this is the proper function or if it's supposed to blink rapidly and then go solid every time or if it's just the first time. Yeah, we got it flashing there. So there might be a little timing reset when you're pressing this. Now, the cool thing is, if you'll jump in and press and then go into reverse, it also has an alternative feature. There it is. We go into reverse, and now we've got a reverse light. So it added reverse light, because I've already replaced these with LEDs, so that's always bright. Now we've got another backup light that's just going to cast more light out here and that is a nice feature of these diode dynamics hitch mount leds well my friends that's going to wrap it up on this install for the diode dynamics hitch mount led there's one other thing if you would like to that's not going to void the warranty is you can actually break the tabs on both sides of this and actually run your hitch mount pin through that for a little bit more stable if that's something that you're worried about otherwise you can leave it as is and you are good to go just make sure you tuck up the wires before finalizing everything and you will be good if you like this video make sure to smash that like button hit the subscribe button for more videos like this and i'll catch you in the next video peace